Unsolved 1991, the case of 41-year-old Brenda Long. Brenda Long was found dead in her bath at her flat in White Marsh Court, Cromwell Road, Whitstable. Her body was found by her ex-boyfriend at about 9pm on Saturday the 28th of December 1991. She was initially thought to have committed suicide, but the autopsy showed that she had been knocked out with diethyl ether and then drowned. She died about eight months after her lover, Alan Leopard, was shot dead at their home in Moncton on the 1st of April 1991. Brenda Long and her lover, Alan Leopard, had moved to Moncton in Kent around December 1990 and were planning to get married. They had been in bed together when someone knocked at the door and when Alan Leopard went to answer it, he was shot dead. They had met at P&B Metal Components in Whitstable, where he was a quality manager and she was an accounts manager. She said that they just fell in love, saying, It just seemed so right and it just happened. There was nothing that either of us could do to stop it. They had both been into bodybuilding and had competed in competitions. After his murder, Brenda Long moved to the flat in White Marsh Court, Cromwell Road, Whitstable, also in Kent. It was said that her death had initially looked like suicide, but when they carried out her post-mortem, they determined that she had diethylether in her bloodstream and marks around her face and mouth that suggested that she'd been knocked out first and then drowned. The pathologist said that she had suffered a deliberate violent assault. Brenda Long was last seen alive by her sister on Christmas Day, the 25th of December 1991. Her sister said that she spoke to Brenda Long the following day, but noted that she sounded zombie-like and that she had been concerned. Brenda Long's ex-boyfriend said that following Alan Leopard's murder, that he had tried to rekindle his relationship with her and that he had seen her on the day before her murder. He said that Brenda Long had been very depressed and that he had taken her back to her flat that he had slept on the sofa and he had left the following day, but that when he returned he had got no answer at the door and he had then climbed in through a window and found her dead. It was noted that her ex-boyfriend, who Brenda Long had left to start a relationship with Alan Leopard, had been 28 miles away in a gym in Sittingbourne at the time that Alan Leopard was shot. When she was found, the police found a suicide note and an empty packet of pills floating in the bath water and a gin and tonic glass by the tub. They said that there were no signs of violence and nothing to suggest that anyone else was involved. The police said that they could not look at Brenda Long's murder without looking at the murder of her partner, Alan Leopard, earlier on, noting that Brenda Long had been a key witness in Alan Leopard's murder. However, they said that they had found no motive for either murder. It was said that their murders might have been contract killings, but that there was no suggestion that either of them had been involved in any criminality. When the coroner returned a verdict of unlawful killing at Brenda Long's inquest, he said that her death was one of the strangest and most disturbing cases I have dealt with for some time. No suspects for her murder or Adam Leopard's murder were ever identified. Nothing more is known about Brenda Long's murder or who it was that drowned her in her flat. The case remains unsolved to this day.